Hi everyone. Happy new month. Happy new month, the month of September to every one of us. How are we? How's the family? How was the church today? For those that have been to church and those that are yet to be to church, I bring church to your door this evening. Happy, happy, happy new month of September. We thank God for his faithfulness in our lives in the month past, the month of August, and the month of divine purpose. A lot of insights were given to us. We explored, uh, we explored how God created us in his own image. How he has given us um, a purpose, gave us purpose, and entrusted uh, with the mandate to fulfill and multiply. So, and so it's continuous from that's what God has given unto us in the last month that we brought here today, the month of uh, divine purpose or the month of expansion. And so as we move into this month, we just want to know, um, uh, first, let me just ask before going further. Um, I hope the devotional helped you to understand more about your unique purpose and how you can live it out. Um, the last month was a deep reflection of growth and I'm grateful for all the insights and, and the experience that we shared and all that. So as we are going to the new month, I've already introduced that to us, um, I think earlier on today, in the morning and in the mid-afternoon, I also sent something. I'm more of a writer than I'm talking. Uh, it's a struggle to come how life, and as much as I've been doing it for a while, I'm still here to get used to coming out and talk. But it's easier for me to communicate with my aunt as well and with the help of uh, other devices as well. So last month, as I said, we journeyed through 20, 31 days devotional centered on the theme of the divine purpose, which was inspired by Genesis 1, 27 to 28, as Holy Spirit has directed. And uh, it was, I know for sure that it was an enriching time of discovering and affirming our lives in God's grand design, design for our life. So, and in this month, I, I, we are excited as I introduced to Rosalero this morning, a new theme, which is the new the month, um, the new theme of expansion and growth. So, and the anchor scripture for this month will be based on Isaiah 54, verse 2 and 3. So, Isaiah 64, which says they, Enlarge the pace of your tent, stretch out your, your curtains wide, do not hold back, lengthen your cords and strengthen your stick. That is what we're going to base her theme on this month. Enlarge the pace of a tent, stretch your tent curtain wide, do not hold back, lengthen your cord and strengthen your stick. I pray for grace and the power of God to be able to do so. Uh, we cannot do so on our own accord, but we need the power of Holy Spirit. We need the power of Holy Spirit to be able to help us. So, and verse 3 of that says, For you will spread out to the right and to the left. Your descendants will dispose nations and settle in their desolate yeah. cities. As God will be giving us insights on this on a daily basis, on every day. So we have the one already being posted. You could go and read that uh, read um, day one of the theme of expansion and growth. And so when we look at this theme of expansion and growth, or and, 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 and growth, we see that when a woman is pregnant and after nine months delivers, it expands. And you grow. The family grow, growth in health, growth in status, growth in everything. A new baby has been added. 
And that's where comes fruitfulness, that comes multiplication, and that comes replenishment. So in this month, so it's just a continuation of what we have. God has given unto us earlier on, um, you know, last month. So we're just expanding on that. And we just pray for fulfillment of that, uh, of that in our lives in this month. So we will look back, want us to look back next month, I mean, at the end of this month and see that um, expansion and growth being happening in our lives as this year, 2024, is expanding and become as at this month, the month of September. It's a September to remember, you know, and uh, the month the year 2024, we have to see the growth because it's time for deliverance. It's time for go to the labor world and deliver. And so also in our lives as well. This month will be a, a significant month of deliverance for us. It is a significant font of growth for us in every area of our lives. A significant area of establishment. So the encouragement there, as God is telling us, is asking us to enlarge the place of our tents and to stretch our tents cutting wide. That means we need to think big. We need to not think narrowly. We need to think outside the box, you know, and expand ourselves. It's encouraging us not to hold back and lengthen our cuts and strengthen your sticks. We've been encouraged he said we should spread out to the right and we spread out to the left. Your descendant will dispose the nations and settle in their desolations. And that is it. And if you want to look at what's the connection between this month and last month, you know, in the last month, we're looking at um, the connection between the two. Last month was based on Exodus, like I said, God was speaking or oh, I um, speak of it. I last month actually speak of God's blessing. God commanded the humanity. So he commanded us in the last month. He says, we should go out there to be fruitful and to multiply and to fill the heart. So, and this is also a div div divine mandate for growth, for expansion and filling the hearts with human life. You know, so, and... As we can see, this reflects God's intention for humanity. His intention for us is to prosper and to spread across the earth. So also similarly in Isaiah 54 that we'll be going through this month, God encourages us as well to enlarge our tent, to prepare for expansion. So if you see the parallel in the commandments uh, in the Genesis for humanity to expand and to fill the heart. So both passages call, underscored call desire for us to grow, to prosper, to spread out, to fulfill God-given um, potential. So last month, just trying to reflect back on last month and then compare it to what we are to expect in this month so that we can go with expectation to this new month, God speak of God blessing humanity and given dominion to over the heart. So it's, it, it grants us authority and responsibility. We can see the tone. And this is also her cause in verse, four, verse three of this Isaiah 54. You know, God promises the Israel descendants, me and you, to possess the nation. He's telling us that we should possess the city. So it's given us the place of restoration and domin of dominion. You know, God wants us to take responsibility, it's empowering us to expand. It's asking us, it's given us authority and given us responsibility, just like he did uh, like, as, as he commanded us in Genesis 1, 27 to 28 last month. So he, he also is speaking to us you know, um, uh, of a renewal of his promises concerning us because he bless us. He wants us to flourish. He wants us to fill the heart. 
you want us to do great exploits. So there's a deep connection um, between Genesis 1, 27 to 28, which was the anchor scripture for last month, and this month anchor, which is Isaiah 54, 2 and 3. There's a deep connection between these themes. Okay. So I call this month, you know, when you talk about expansion and growth, you, you're talking about new season. You're talking about new beginnings. And you're talking about new establishments in two. Because you cannot expand without new season. As in expansion leads to your, your, new, your, your new season begins with expansion, you know, from, oh, yes, from one, well, one situation, one level to another, you know. And again, a, 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 God, a Genesis actually presents us with the mandate for humanity to multiply and exercise and take dominion over the heart, reflecting God's purpose for its creation. And Isaiah, on the other hand, speaks of the latter stage of divine plan for our life, you know, ability, a future to renew growth, to fulfill that what God has said to us, you know, and to expand and to take authority. So this month, I just pray that we'll be able to do so, taking authority and expanding as God has given us that word for this season. So this is just to come out here today, just to just establish this. And I pray that God will grant me the grace the more as we go, as we go further um, in this month. What I'm requesting or begging everyone is, you know, I just at times I look at it. Am I really doing anything at all? Until I see one or two, three people come to me or reading messages on my page telling me or um, asking me or um, how the devotions has been a blessing to them. Why don't we leave um, comments? Let's form unity together. We shouldn't be afraid, you know, and that can actually encourage others as well. So please make most of this month, I plead, by actively participate in the daily devotion and support one another in our growth, you know. Um, I would love to hear from you about what you are hoping to achieve this month. What areas of life do you feel God is calling you to expand? How are you preparing to embrace new season, this new beginnings of greatness that in, 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 in front of us? Share your thoughts and goals in the comments, you know, So because we are all here to support one another. We are all here to encourage one another, uh, each other, as we grow. So, thank you for joining me today. And for being a part of this community, I'm looking forward to, to a month of exciting growth and expansion with all of us. Be sure to follow along with our daily devotion. Let's make, let's make this September a month of powerful transformation and divine blessing a lot of expansion and growth for each and every one of us. Have a fantastic start to your month, and I will see you throughout our daily devotions. Take care and God bless. Until you hear my voice again, channel. God bless each and every one of us. Your bless and holy favor. I don't know who is Nikki Hadishinyo or Yediro was watching me, but that's not me in person. Um, if you're fascinating me, because it's you, um, God bless each and every one of us. Um, I'll see you in my first game channel. Bye.